Hey, what's up, internets? This is Nezo from Nezo's Bad Shop. I'm live on location doing some cool videos for Galaxy Hobby and uh, particularly this chassis, the brand new Eagle TTO2 FRD. I've already got a couple other videos up at this point. Uh, this video right here is just got a little quick comparison. Uh, between this uh, TTO2 FRD new chassis and uh, the Eagle R31, which is over here. Uh, generally, these are both front motor layout design drift cars, but they have very different ideas of drivetrain and uh, uh, general chassis layout. This chassis right here is provided by my good buddy Trovi Labs, who has already set up his car and done a bunch of laps and really likes his car already. He made some little setup changes from stock, but nothing major, so um, it's still pretty much stock. Just a couple of little tweaks here and there, but uh, it runs really good. I've taken a couple laps to it, and I like it. Can't wait to get mine going, which is right there, the gold one. <laughs> um, so, as you can see, uh, these chassis, both front motor design. Now, the uh, TTO2 FRD is a center motor design with a belt reduction transmission and a drive shaft going to the rear end. The Eagle R31 is front motor, but the motor sits on a side, still in the middle of the chassis, but it sits sideways. Uh, pinion spur gear to a smaller belt reduction transmission, pretty much just one pulley to another, and then a pulley, main pulley, which is the main drive pulley, out to the rear end, the rear belt, rear diff, and away you go. In the TTO2 FRD, when the shaft gets to the rear end, it's gears back here. Uh, I believe they're standard gears. I don't believe they're helical. They're standardized, uh, regular style type of tooth. And um, the servos are roughly in the same position right around here. Uh, same side of the chassis as well. The geometry of the steering wipers are a little different. The design here on the TTO2 FRD is a little bit different, a little bit newer than what is on the R31 for wiper. Um, so if I just turn this, you get an idea. Here's what it looks like at, here's the R31 at mostly full to full lock. That's what it looks like there. And over here, this is what the TTO2 looks like when you get it upwards around the full lock. Now Trophy Labs here has done some work on the steering. He's added a little bit more uh, Ackerman, I think, a teeny tiny bit of Ackerman and he achieved that by getting some toe out happening. And so put this back here, there you go. You can see there's about a degrees worth of toe out, I believe, um, in the front wheels. So when the servo actually gets to mostly full lock, we end up with a little bit of Ackerman on the inside wheel, and that's good. Like I said, I drove this car and this setup the way it is, pretty much out of the box with some very mild tweaks, is very good and it's very enjoyable so far <laughs> so other than the steering and the motor and drivetrain layout there really isn't too much other difference um, one of the other major differences would be the body post geometries they're definitely different um, so you plan your bodies accordingly stealth mount them or body post whatever works um, battery layout is different the r31 runs sideways it's similar to the motor sideways layout in the car the R30, sorry, the TTO2 FRD has the battery running uh, parallel to the chassis, parallel to the drive line. Um, and this battery mount here can be moved and customized so you can run a shorty pack or you can buy a different battery brace that allows you to run a saddle pack configuration. So you have some options there. Um, and yeah, I mean, there isn't, it doesn't look like too many other major differences. Obviously the belt and shaft versus a straight belt and gear system. Um, but other than that, it, I like the TTO2 FRD and it's, uh, I wouldn't say close to the R31, but you can definitely see where Eagle got their ideas and where they've sort of learned from the past. Um, not necessarily mistakes, just sort of trying something new slash being innovative. It's the way I look at it. And uh, I like it. And uh, hopefully I will get to drive my Goldie, which is in the back there at some point. I gotta prepare it and lock tight all the things. Um, yeah, get some track time soon, and more than likely sooner or later you will see a track video, both point of view from driver and maybe naked chassis. We'll see what happens if we can get it going, and go from there.
As we say, we have a whole track here, which is doing nothing right now. It's all, we have it all to ourselves, all these wonderful eagle yummy yummy chassis. So, um, yeah, subscribe, like, drop me a line, comment, and I'll try to get back to you, answer anything about this chassis that I know of. And until then, I'm going to keep making some videos. Um, I'll catch you on the flip side. See you later.